Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. I have a fun and kooky idea today, just goofing around. Um, I uh, recently made a signature uh, digi kit with the name Book Angels, and it got me thinking about Book Angels, and I made something tangible that's a Book Angel, and here she is. She's a little Book Angel, and she is actually a Spine Dangle Book Angel. And this is super easy to make. Um, it kind of got me thinking about um, the shape of embroidery floss and how it is bundled like this. And if you're anything like me, you might have a bunch of this laying around. Maybe it has no purpose. Maybe you're not uh, embroidering. And, uh, but you might have something that looks like this, yes. And I thought the ones that are still in their little shape, I noticed that what they did with the thread is very similar to how I would set up making a spine dangle, something to hang from the outside spine of a junk journal. And half, like 90% of the work is already done. Why not capture that? So today we are going to make a little book angel. These are really easy to make. Did I say anybody can make these? I'm going to say it now. Anybody can make these. These are super simple. And here we go. All right, you little book angel, come on over here and have a seat. All right. Well, maybe we'll make you a pink one. Okay, so here is some embroidery floss with its little tassels on. And what I decided to do, I, I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do this. You can have a book angel with hair, with no hair, wings, no wings, totally up to you. You can make them out of different things. But uh, I have that crochet uh, yarn that I had, thread, whatever this is, string, not sure, but going to use it up anyway. Um, so I just doubled it up a little bit. And you could use anything here, but I just happen to have a ton of this, so I might as well use it, right? And here's our old friend Big Bob with the big eye yarning or darn needle. Thread that baby without glasses and without the little thread threading helper. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, yes. And now we're just going to actually use the fact that somebody or a machine already uh, looped these at one end. So there you go. You don't even really need the needle for this, but it just makes it a little bit easier. And then I just tied it at the top. Yeah, I just tied it at the top to collect them all so they are all together. Whoop, I missed half of them. Okay, we're retreating now. We're retreating because we're not tied in place yet, so everything is okay. And we're going we're gonna to make sure we get them all this time. Let me go make sure I look through. Looking through. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I see some. I see some wayward souls in. There you go. Go back over to that side. That's right. Are you good? What are you? You've got a bunch of loosey gooseys over there. I see you though. You're not getting away on me. Nope. Well, apparently all that work that was done for me, I had to do a little more myself. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I got most of them. I'm going through without the needle this time. Yeah, I'm going bold. No needle needed. Sorry, Bob. You can sit this one out. All right. So now I think I have most of them. I'm going to tie a knot. There's the tough part. That was it. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Okay. So I got that at the top. Tie it tight. And then we're going to tie it again. Okay. Now, um, let's just take a look at prototype. I don't remember what I did. So I tied that on. And then I used this to tie into... I had a little, um, like a little baby. These are probably, oh, not even an inch. These are like uh, three quarters of an inch bulldog clips. They're very small, the small bulldog clips. And I just used this thread to thread through the top. These come conveniently with holes in them. Very easy to thread. I only thread one side. And just tie that onto the top. So you've got to, and you could hook these on a multitude of ways, but this is just such a super easy way to do it. And I tied a bow just because I figured, well, a bow is cute, and maybe an angel might have a bow at the top. Or you could just tie a knot. That's also fine. Okay, well, let's try the bow, because that's what I did. I'm going to shrink up my little bunny ears, and then tighten again. Make sure they're even. Tighten. Okay, so now we are attached at the top, and we have, we have a little uh, bow at the top. And um, so now I need another little piece of string. Because I'm going to make the neck, the neck of the angel. Oh, can you see that? Okay. All right. 
And this is uh, nothing fancy. Oh, I don't know, maybe a foot or a foot or two or something like that, long enough so that you have, you can wrap around the neck of the angel and uh, give it a nice little tie. And let's see, let's make our neck right about there. And then just put a little tie in it. These are all just basic little square knots, nothing fancy. Okay, this one's got a smaller head, this angel. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have a little, we have this so far. We have the little head. We have the topper attached. Okay. And um, now you can, you can leave these longer threads here or you can remove them. Whatever you'd like to do is fine. Um, I think I'm going to remove them because I don't really need them. Just take that off. Take this off. This is just so fun and easy to do. You could actually turn these into Christmas ornaments. Wouldn't that be cute? That would be really cute as a Christmas ornament. But uh, we're making book angels today. Okay. Um, all right, so we have that. Oh, I just undid my bow. Isn't that great? Yeah, that was wonderful. Way to go, Pam. Okay, so now we are retying the bow. Yep. We're retying the bow. Maybe I'm not going to do a bow this time. No, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm okay. Maybe the, the, the gods are saying, not a bow this time, Pam. Try, try a knot. Okay. Well, we tied a knot. There we go. And then we just have some hair. All right. Now, you could, you could leave this one as is. It has a little, uh, like a little bow tie here and long hair. Um, but what we can do at this point is um, you can take off, actually, while they're still all gathered together tightly, let's go ahead and trim the bottom. So we want to, these are gathered. Now, hopefully we can find our way through the middle. Just do your best. And uh, up there, if you missed one, just get back in there and give it a snipperoo. Okay. You can just do a little, like, generalized trim at the bottom. We might do some combing through at the end. All right. So we have that. And now let's remove these two little covers. Let's see what we have so far. Uh, what I, I did with this one was I, I raked it with my fingers. I just, um, just used, here. Okay, that's what I did. Where are you? I got these long strings that I didn't have before. Okay, so I just kind of did this. I spread them out from each other to give them a little bit more volume. You want the pretty, ta it's basically a tassel is what we're making. But the nice thing about it is the convenience that the embroidery thread already had everything all wound up for us. We just needed to tie some knots in it to give it a little bit of shape. And this easily forms a little, right now it looks like an octopus, I know. The giant, the giant octopus of the sea. You could go for octopus if you want, but I'm going to go for book angel. Okay, thread it there. And now let's put some... Uh, wings on this little book angel. Do you want pink wings? I don't know. Let's see how's that look. Maybe we want a contrasting wing. Hang on. Okay, and you could make as many or as few wings as you like. I mean, you're not limited to the wings. This is your angel, and, and you know, maybe your angel has a lot of wings. A nice little contrasting color here. Yeah. Okay, let's just snip you off at any random place. Okay, so let's just try a general. Maybe I'll double it. Maybe I'll double it. I'm going to double this. How long is this? The whole length of it? I don't know. I'm going to measure it for you. It's about 21 inches long. We just grabbed a piece, honestly. And I'm going to give this little, this little lady some wings so that she can fly. All right. Okay. Now one side this happened to me before. One side is tied, or one side is a loop, and one side is free. Now, if you want them to, get, to look the same, you could either go back and forth and back and forth and have both sides have some loops, or you could just trim, cut that one. Now they're both separate, but you could tie them together, and it almost gives her little, I don't know, I want to say like little hands or something. Um, let me show you the prototype again. And these are just, just little goof arounds, you know what I mean? But, okay, let me show you prototype. Get your, get your hair all organized, ma'am. Um, so that's what prototype looked like. Yeah, I just tied them at the end there just because uh, I had the loops. And uh, it just gave me, I wanted to, to look both the same on both sides. So there we go. Okay. Now, do you, you don't belong here. Okay. So now we have this hair. And we have our wings. 
and we have our body and maybe we want more hair huh okay let's get this this hair's getting a little unruly we need to we need to corral the hair and maybe give you some more hair maybe we'll just we have a lot of this let's give you more hair let's give you a lot of hair and see what that looks like just for fun um I mean, who knows where this will go? Whoops, sorry, ma'am. Sorry, excuse us. Excuse us with the yarn ball. Um, okay, so I, don't know, I probably have like five feet, six feet of this now. Um, okay, and I'm just folding it back and forth upon itself. I just did that. Okay, so I have a bunch like this. Let's see what it looks like when we give her this much hair. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And... There. Let's see how you look now with all your glory. Oh, you're kind of pretty, aren't you? All right, so let's do some trimming here. Give you a little haircut. Come here, string. I think a lot of fun can be had with string. String is basically fiber, just like paper is, just like fabric is, and it can be played with, um, and you can have fun with it. And, and, and there's a lot of things we can do with string and our junk journals, so I thought this might be a fun way to play a little bit. All right, okay, so now we're talking. This lady's got some locks. That's right, and she's got wings and locks. Now, there you go. So there she has some, she has some attitude, I would say. All right, let's see what she looks like on the, on the junk journal. All right, here we go. We're going to put you on there. Very easy to put on. Oops, I put you, I put you on the wrong side, maybe. Okay, here. Oh, now that's your back. Okay, we'll turn you around. Okay, there you go. There you go. Now you're on the right side. Okay, get your hair straightened. Oh, maybe your, that hair needs to go over here. That's what, yeah, wrong hair. Now I wonder if we could, we could oh, she's just really pretty. Look how cute she is. Okay, let me I'll give you a better view. There she is. Oh, isn't she cute? A little book angel. Let me do some trimming on her. She seems to have some wayward threads here. And she's got her wings, and she's got her hair, and you could keep going, you could give her little eyes. Let me try giving her little eyes. I think I'm going to grab the stickles for this. But you could do little, you could add little googly eyes or anything like that. I mean, she looks cute without eyes, she doesn't have to have eyes. But if she had eyes, let's see what they would look like. Let's try this. Let's try some, this is Nouveau Drops in Ebony Black, okay? Let's give her a couple. No, she doesn't want black eyes. She wants like green or copper eyes, right? Right, I can see that right now. Okay, this is Nouveau Drops in Copper Penny. Okay, here we go. She might have been nice with green eyes too. Let's see, okay. Oh. Okay, there's a good eye. It's a big eye. How do I match it with that eye? Whoa, okay, there we go. Yeah, she's good. Now I think she's going, let me zoom you in on her so you can see what her little fat eyes look like. There she is. And I think I'm just going to set her aside to dry because she's kind of cute. But how fun is that, right? I mean, if you have a bunch of those hanging around, you could definitely make some embroidery floss book angels. How cute are you? All right, let me gingerly, I'm gingerly, gingerly putting you over here to dry. We'll put you over here because you're in the done pile. And let's back up a bit, and maybe let's make another one. Now we'll try and make it a little different. I mean, each of these are, they're all different and unique. And let's just see where we go with this. I'm just readjusting my microphone, hang on. Okay. Ah, here's a, here's a little gray one. It only has one of these on it, but we can work with that. Um, yeah, let's try that again. Okay, so let's find the middle. I think that's the big quest. Finding the middle of all these little loops. They may have gotten pulled over the years, come apart. You just kind of work your way through till you sort of find the middle of all of those. Is that pretty good? Oh, now there's some lone wolves over here. I see you, I see you. Yeah, no, we're gonna get you all. Uh-huh. Kind gonna just kinda, it helps to put a needle in your hand you, I see you. We can get you in the in the game here. All right, where are we? Doing the best, best we got with what we got. Okay, I think I have most of you. Yes, there we go. 
It's pretty good. Not bad. Hey, there have been better days, but this is not bad. Okay. Let's get you on there. All right. And now... Which way do you go, I wonder? You might go the other way. There we go. Okay, I think I'm in the middle now. All right, so let's get a piece of string. I think I have a bunch still here. Don't need much for this part. And we're just going to tie the top in a little knot. And tie it tight. Right over left, up to right. I don't think I did that right, but there you go. That's probably the correct way to do it. And now let's do the neck. Okay, I have another little piece here. We'll do a neck. We'll do a small little neck head. <laughs> neck head combo here. Up you go. Up to the north. I don't know. It's, I guess I'm in the Christmas spirit. I'm making Christmas ornaments and book angels. So book angels you can use all year long, though, which is nice. Never met a book angel I didn't like. Okay, left over right. Let's try right over left this time. Probably a good idea. That will lock it nice and tight. Okay, there we go. And I think I can smoosh you up. up smoosh you up there a little bit. Give you more of a, of a head shape. There we go. All right. Let's trim you off. All right, so we have this. Now let's cut the tail. I guess you really don't even need to go through the exact center and fuss, fuss, fuss. You could just come along and cut off the bottom, you know, where you think you have it. That's probably faster. There we go. That made that a lot easier. Okay, well, that was easy. And I think at this point we can take this off. So that's good. So we have our basic shape angel here. Whoop. I don't know where that came from. Um, very nice. And now we just need to decorate her up a little bit. Maybe we're going to give her some... Should we give her blue arms, bluish arms? That might be pretty. Or she might look nice with the pink arms. I think I had a piece of pink floating around here somewhere. Somewhere I did. And um, you can use bed sheet for this too. It doesn't have to be sorry. So, oh, that I think is going to be very pretty. Let's do that. Maybe we'll give you double, double wings. Let's try. Let's just put, like do a bunch and see what happens. Okay. I just went back and forth with the sorry silk. And now I'm going to attempt to tie this in a knot. All right, moving all the, the gorgeous hair out of the way. And we're tying our angel arms, our angel wings. I guess angels still have arms, don't they? Yeah, I think they do, because they can hold things. So yeah, I'm pretty sure about that. I'm cross-referencing here. Um, and just tie a knot. I don't know, I probably went back two or three times, back and forth, going for some different kinds of wingage here. All right, tuck that in there. Oh, maybe this is going to be the back of you. I'm going to turn you around and see what you look like on the other side. Okay, turn you over. Oh, look, you got a little body. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. I would like to put you together. Let's see. I could tie you, but I'm, I'm going to shorten you too much. You know what? I think I'm going to come, I'm going to come in with the Fabrifix. I'm just going to glue you together. That's right. That's, we've got this Fabrifix glue for a reason, right? So we can glue things together. And there. Oh, there we go. We got a wing. We got wings. We got wings. All right. Straighten everybody out here. You got kind of like a, a twist going on in you. You got a little... Got a little groove going. I think that's what it is. She's, this one's a dancer. Oop, I got my finger stuck. See that Fabrifix holds well. Look, it won't let go of me. Okay, there we go. Everything's fine. Oop, got a little extra thread there. You can take that away. But isn't this fun? I mean, this is a great, cute way to make little book angels for your junk journals. Okay, so um, I think you need some hair. And I do like the white hair because it does show up nicely there. But you could really use any color string to make hair. And I think I have pink string too. So let me grab that. All right, I have a bunch of this. And Lord, even it may, I'm, I need to use it up. So here we go. This mystery string, which now has purpose. You have purpose. Come with me, mystery string. Oh, you're going to give me some knots, are you? Are you there? Well, I'm just going to pull a bunch. Probably not supposed to do this, but I did it. Look at that. That's totally wrong in everybody's book. I know. I know. But um, 
here we go. That's what we got. Just trying to make some hair here, people. Just trying to make some hair. Um, get most of the knots out. Okay. We double it up a bit. Get some more hair going. Maybe she's going to have wilder hair, huh? That could be. That could totally be. If I use it all up here, might as well use it all up. Okay. Mm. Alright, this one's going to have some messy hair. Now, I haven't, I haven't tied it to the ring yet. That's okay, though. Let's put your hair on first this time. We'll do it backwards. See what happens. I guess these are two different pinks, but eh, that's okay. I think this angel's going to be just fine with it. Okay. Are you liking it so far? You are? Well, good. Because this is what we're going with. You know, pink hair's all rage these days. Okay, there we are. Nope, still hold your head up, dear. Hold your head up. Okay, I just cut some hair. And just cut some here. Okay, a little longer. There we go. Okay, you got your wings, got your little little body, got your hair. Now we need um all right, I pulled out a bunch. Where did you go? Here we go. We need something to hang you on. And there are a million and one ways you could hang your, your book angel, but this is just, just one easy way. Oh, let's see. We've got a little string there. Um, let's take a couple this way and a couple that way. And here's our... Okay, so... Okay, if you're going to clip on this way, that means you're going to hang from the front. So we're going to tie you onto this one front. I'll just tie a little knot. It's all basic knotting, so it's nothing fancy. It's just knots. Regular old, left over right, right over left, square knotting. Is that what it's called? Don't know, but it's a, I think it is. I think it's a square knot. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what we have. Let's see what this little angel is going to look like. There we go. Get yourself all organized now, ma'am. We're presenting you your debutante ball here. There we go. There we have her. And let's give her some pretty eyes that I think would like to show up. So maybe we'll make them like whitish eyes or where well, you got some blue. Blue would be nice, but maybe like white or cream would be. How about yellow? Yellow might be nice for her. This is liquid pearls and bisque. Let's see how this works. This was free flowing or it's stuck. Let's see. Eh, it kind of stuck. I see it coming out. It's probably going to be a big splooch. Let's see. No, you're stuck. Okay, we will just go to a different one then because I have a million of them here. A million of them. Okay, I have a Nouveau Drops in white, which I think might look very nice. This is color called Simply White. Okay, and here we go. Ooh. Yep. One little eyeball. Okay, I think you can maybe use little buttons or something too. That would be cute. I mean, these eyes might move around a little bit, but hey, you know. There you go. All right, I'll put that there, and then I can just hang her from her special place. Um, so there you go. This is a little introduction to book angels. So these are fun, easy. Anybody can make them, and I hope you enjoyed this little process um, tutorial together. I'm talking so quietly today, I have no idea why, but uh, we'll bring all the book angels together. And um, there you go, so you can pick your favorite book angel, um, and maybe make some too from your collection of forgotten about embroidery threads. And uh, there you go, folks, there's a little twist on the old spine dangle. Today we made book angels. So take care, everybody. Happy crafting. Um, if you haven't signed up for my free monthly newsletter, it's emailed. It comes out every month. You get a free digital image, a checklist of junk journal supplies, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and a page list of ideas so that you never run out of ideas on how to decorate your junk journal pages. You also get junk journal tips, updates from me at Pam at the Paper Outpost, and also um, peeks at DigiKits. So let's see. What? Where's the, where, oh, there you are, Sunbun. Do you have something to say? Come in. You must have something to say. Well, I have a lot to say. I always have a lot to say. And I have a little pup date. Yes, yes, I have a little pup date. Um, what is your little pup date? Hello, everybody. I'm, I'm apparently fully awake today. Yes, yes, I am. And uh, snacks. <laughs> okay. 
And uh, Mom had a little Maltese before me, and his name was Angel. Yeah, and it was actually her mom's dog. And she got Aunt Pam, Pam at the Paper Elbows, got her mom, Olga, Angel, as a Christmas gift. Yeah! And then when Mom, Mom's mom passed away, my mom, Pam, are you, are you keeping up with this? I can, I can get you a note paper. Um, got Angel. And we had Angel for nine years. Yes, we did. Uh, Angel was six when he came to us. So it was a long, full, happy life. And, uh, yep, that was it. That's about day for today. Happy crafting, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, sunshine. All right, over there you go. Back into your bed. And what else can I tell you? My videos, they come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays where I talk about junk journals, uh, paper crafting, life of a crafter, and answering your crafty questions. On the other days of the week, you're going to find I'm putting up video podcasts, which are flashback videos from my YouTube days. And uh, you can watch those on Spotify. And um, those are video and audio together. Basically, they're like a YouTube video. And um, I also have uh, DigiKits, which are computer files. Uh, I call it, they're vintage DigiKits. They're collections of themed uh, pretty pictures and images, very old images, very unique images. Some of these I have hand-drawn. Many of these I have just collected over time for you. And I've, I've made these little ensembles so that you can... Um, uh, print these out at home and then use them in your junk journals um, or in your artwork as you would like to. Uh, they're beautiful. Uh, they're easy to cut out in general. I'm trying to make them easier and easier to cut out as I make these kits for you. And if you don't have a printer or you don't like to print, um, I have a print and mail service. All you do is purchase the print and mail service. It's not an ongoing fee. It's a one flat fee one time. Probably when I call it a service, people think it's some kind of um, subscription. It's not. It's uh, you pay one price and that gets you 10 digikits printed, which equals 50 pages because each digikit has five pages. And they're printed on lightweight cardstock. And um, you can pick out the digikits that you would like, 10 kits. Just send me the names of the digikits. I only need the first two to three words. And uh, I will print those out and mail those to you. Um, you get free priority shipping with that. It's all one price. You don't need to buy the individual digikits. Okay. I also sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers. Um, if you like... Um, Oh, let's say old antique ledger and checks and postcards and receipts and, and music paper and dictionary pages and all sorts of um, vintage book pages and hand dyed papers. Um, there's a hundred pieces plus in each kit and um, uh, you can purchase that in my Etsy shop and I will mail that off to you and that also gets free priority mail shipping. And I have an Amazon shop, so if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies, I have links in there to um, many of the things that you'll see me use here. So if you're looking for uh, those items, it's a good place to start. That is a um, affiliate link, so just um, you do not pay more for the products, but I do get a little bit of a commission if you purchase through those links. And um, I have a merchandise shop. So if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon and you would like that for yourself or a friend or a loved one uh, on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or um, something like that, you could definitely um, uh, purchase uh, one of those very or many <laughs> as many uh, as many as you would like. Um, the link is down below in my uh, description box. Uh, you can find me on Pinterest. Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly, monthly challenges and seeing what you make from these videos. Um, if you um, find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. And most of all, go have some fun and make some uh, book angels and um, or Christmas ornaments, whatever you like. And um, remember that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye.